Hey everyone, it's Rashida A. Marshall. Thank you so much for checking out this video. We are going to be taking it through a quick hip flexor and inner thigh stretch routine. Again, it's Rashida A. Marshall. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If it's your first time, welcome. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all future workouts, dance tutorials, wellness chats, and all that good stuff. And for those who are returning, thank you so much for your support and for coming back. You know I appreciate you and I hope you also enjoy what I have for you today. So we are gonna take it through a quick hip flexor and inner thigh stretch routine. Um, this was something that I was going to put myself through just because I'm feeling tight in those areas. I went to the gym earlier this week and focused on um, heavy lifting for lower body. So I wanted to go through a stretch routine just to target that area. And I decided to bring you all along with me so you can follow and maybe get a nice release if you're feeling tightness in those areas too. So we are gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna have us start in a seated position and we'll go into a butterfly stretch first and then we'll bring ourselves up into a kneeling position and go into some lunge variations. So you can go ahead and find yourself seated and you're gonna have the soles of the feet planted together and you're sitting up tall. I'm just gonna face this way with my side profile to you all just because we're gonna end up folding forward and doing some movement. So it'll help for you to get a view, a better view there. So again, soles of the feet are planted together and you wanna find yourself sitting up nice and tall. So if you have to sit on a pillow or a block or something that's gonna raise your hips so that you can keep an upright spine and you can go ahead and modify in that way. So go ahead and cup the palms around the feet. And then again, you're sitting up nice and tall, shoulders are drawn down the back. So you're gonna take an inhale here and then exhale as you keep a flat back and fold down through center as though you're trying to bring the chest closer towards the feet. And then again for two, inhale as we lift and then exhale, fold, staying tall. And let's take it through one more. Inhale as you come up and then exhale, fold. Now you're gonna hold it here. Go ahead and take the hands from off of the feet and bring them onto the mat. So you can kind of just find a distance that works best for you. Maybe staying in rather close to the feet is okay. Maybe you'd like to walk yourself out a little further. And then if flexibility allows, maybe you can even come down onto the forearm. So just kind of see what feels most comfortable there. So I'm gonna stay upright because I I'm feeling very tight, <laughs> so keeping the palms down. And then really make sure that you're breathing. So as you exhale, just allow yourself to sink further into the stretch. Really release any tension. If you feel like you're holding the legs up, just kind of let them melt down towards the ground. And now you're gonna walk the hands over to your right side. So use an exhale breath to creep the hands over towards one side might even get a nice stretch along the side of the body as you hold this. And you're breathing. Now take a breath in, inhale, and then exhale the hands back to center, hold it for a second, and then use another breath to bring you over to the other side. So as you're holding it, feel like you're sending the hip down as you're reaching the hand away. So you wanna find that feeling of opposition as you just kind of really stretch and hold it there. All right, we're gonna walk the hands back in through center. Take one final stretch here down the middle and then go ahead and walk yourself all the way back in. Good. And then from there, you can just bring the hands behind you. Maybe take a gentle rock if you feel like you um, we're kind of, you know, holding the stretch a bit too long. You can slowly take yourself out of it from there. All right, now from here, go ahead and sweep the feet behind you. So placing yourself in a seated position on the heels, and we're gonna take a child's pose like release. And again, we'll be able to really work the adductors and the inner thighs in this stretch, or not work them, but release the tension. So you're gonna bring yourself down, go ahead and lengthen, and just find your child's pose position to start. So you're just, lengthening out here and you have the head down resting on the mat maybe and feel like you're reaching the fingers out while you send the hips back toward the uh, bottom edge of your mat
your breathing. All right, now from here, keep your big toes touching and you're going to space the feet out. So you're gonna slide the knees out to the sides of the mat and then continue to sink down. Let your chest and your belly come down towards the mat. Let's take one more inhale. Okay, and now from here, we're gonna go ahead and add on. So now what you're gonna do is space your feet apart more. We're gonna go into a frog stretch. So you're gonna space the feet out and I want you to creep the chest forward. So you're still on the forearms, the knees might even come off the mat. Creep your chest forward and then again, you're still sinking down. So you're really allowing the knees to go out to the side as you hold it here. Now, whatever distance feels okay, you can move in and out of this gradually, depending on how it feels, but you should really feel the adductors getting a nice release as you hold this. So you're just kind of pressing the hips back as you hold it. Moving gradually, maybe shifting forward and then pressing back just a bit. Hopefully you have a comfortable place for your knees because I know my knees on this floor right now is not the, <laughs> the most comfortable, but we're about to bring ourselves out of it. So just breathe through this right here. Take another inhale and exhale. And then when you're ready, just kind of prop yourself up so you're lifting the hips this way you can bring the knees back in and then just press back into that second variation of the child's pose where you have the toes together and the knees apart. Take a moment there. All right, and then when you're ready, use an inhale to bring you up and then we are on all four. So you're gonna bring the feet in. You have the wrists underneath the shoulders and then we have the hips underneath or the hips over the knees. <laughs> so now go ahead and let's step our left foot forward in between the palms of the hand. So you're stepping that leg up and then we're gonna sink into our lunge from here. So allow yourself to press forward. You're keeping the chest lifted, palms are down, and then we're gonna go into some different variations. All right, sinking into that stretch. Now from here, you can go ahead and if you feel comfortable, bring your hands onto that front leg. Again, continue sinking down. You're keeping the lift in the front of the body as you hold this. Shoulders are drawn down the back so you're not putting a lot of pressure in your arms. And now let's bring the hands back down framing the foot to start, and now bring your left hand to the inner edge of the left foot. So you have both the hands in close by each other. And now continue to go further into your lunge. So you're just sinking more deeply into this. This might be enough. You might wanna come down onto the forearms and deepen that stretch if that feels comfortable for you. And then if you have yoga blocks or any props, maybe it feels better to place your hands on those instead. So just find whatever works best as you hold it and maybe your hands stay framing the foot rather than both of them being on the inner edge. All right, now from here, bring that left hand back outside of the left leg if you moved it. Now, once your hand is back on the outer edge of the left foot, bring that left hand onto the left knee, press into the knee and twist. Look towards your left shoulder Maybe you twist a little further and look up toward the ceiling and just kind of press your leg out so you should feel a little more of a stretch on the inner thigh of the left side as you take it through this. All right, go ahead and bring yourself back in. You can lower that left hand back down and we're going to go into a pigeon stretch. So bringing that left foot down, you're lowering it fully. And then you're lengthening or keeping that leg lengthened and resting down behind you. And then we're just staying up tall here. So now the closer your heel is in towards center, 
the more modified the movement is. And if you move the foot out and have the shin closer to being aligned with the short edge, the more of a stretch you'll get. So you can play around with the placement there. And if you have a pillow or a cushion nearby, you can place it underneath the hip on the left side to assist you if you find that you are rotating out or if it's really difficult or putting any pressure or strain on your left knee. So you can place that underneath to keep you upright. So let's start by just keeping the chest lifted here, maybe pressing back, looking up toward the ceiling maybe, getting a nice release along the right side. And then go ahead and bring the body down. If it feels okay here, you can bring the forearms onto the mat and then you can hold it here or maybe you stack the hands and rest the forehead on the back of the hands. All right, let's begin to bring ourselves upright, whether you were reclined or if you're on the forearms. And then we're lifting. Now you're gonna go ahead and gradually begin to bend that back knee, press yourself up so you can slide your left leg back. And then we end up back in that all four starting position. So now we're gonna go over to the right side and I'm gonna go ahead and turn. So I'll face this direction. And then when you're ready, we're gonna step the right foot forward as we did earlier. So bringing the palm between the, or the feet between the palms and then sinking forward into your lunge. Palms are down. You're getting the release now on the left side as you hold it here. Now this might be enough or we can come up onto the leg as we did on the other side. So pressing the palms down, lifting the chest. Again, shoulders stay drawn down as you hold yourself here. All right, and now let's go ahead and bring the hands back down onto the mat. And now you can keep them framing the foot or you can bring that right hand to the inner edge of the right foot and continue to sink further into it. If it feels comfortable, again, you can come down onto the forearms or maybe using a block or a cushion to support the hands if that feels a little better for you. All right, so now let's bring the right hand back to frame the foot and then we're gonna lift the hand and bring it onto the knee. So planting it on the right knee, press that leg out slightly as you turn, look towards the right side, maybe past the shoulder, maybe all the way up toward the ceiling. Okay, and now let's turn back to face the front. Bring your right hand down, and now you're gonna lower the right leg onto the mat. Let's go into our pigeon stretch, bringing that leg down. All right, adjusting yourself as you need to, making sure the hips are square to the front, using a cushion underneath the right side if that helps. And then we're staying up right here. And then if you'd like, let's bring ourselves down, maybe onto the forearms if that's enough. And then you can also bring the head down. All right, let's go ahead and press ourselves back up. So we're lifting. We're gonna take that right leg and then press back on your left knee as you slide the right knee to meet as well. And then we're back on all fours. So let's go ahead and take a moment here. And you can just go into a wag in the tail, just Shift the hips left to right. Here my bones are cracking here. <laughs> Take a nice stretch and release. And then come back into center and let's go into a cat cow as you pull the belly in towards the spine, round the low back. And then inhale, tilt the head and tailbone up toward the ceiling. And then again for two as you round, pull into center. And then inhale. 
Last one. Then come back to that neutral position from here as you reset. Now we're gonna press ourselves back onto the heels just to sweep the legs from underneath us. And let's bring ourselves into a seated position. So I'm gonna go ahead and face you all here for this. And you're gonna take the legs out to the side. So you'll have a wide stance and I'm gonna slide back off the mat. And we're just gonna do a quick um, wide-legged forward fold stretch here. So you're gonna start with the legs out and then bring the hands down through center and then just walk yourself forward. So seeing what feels most comfortable. Let me slide back a little more. Spacing the legs out to what feels best. Maybe the palms stay down. Again, keep your chest lifted as you fold forward. And then maybe you bring the forearms down as well and you hold this. You're breathing. Okay, now go ahead and walk the palms back into center. And now you're gonna walk the hands over to the right side. So maybe going down the leg as you stretch and hold it here. All right, go ahead and walk the hand back in or sliding back up the leg and then go over to your left side and then take it into the same thing here, walking down the left leg. the palms back in and now we're going to do one side or each side one more time but now we'll do a lateral stretch so, so bring the right hand down the right leg and then take your left arm up as you sweep up and over so you're keeping the chest facing front now as you go into that stretch and then hold it keep the left hip down as you take the left arm away and then bring yourself all the way up and then one more time to our left as we take the right arm up to center and then just go ahead and sweep the legs into a crisscross seated position here and let's take both the arms up as we take an inhale stretch there and exhale the arms melt down and we are done so hopefully you all enjoyed that again those were some areas where i was feeling tightness from a past workout and that is a stretch routine that i would take myself through very quickly maybe before bed or if i had free time in the middle of the day like today and i wanted to share the routine with you all so hopefully it is a video that you can come back to when you have a workout and you're looking to you know just get a nice stretch routine in or if you're just looking to improve flexibility overall in those parts of the body that's those are some great stretches that you can do so thank you all so much as always for joining and watching be sure to leave your comments below and make sure to like and subscribe and until the next video you all have a good one bye